Hello everyone, uh, I'm Anike Thakur and welcome back to AWS Today. So in the last video we saw how to access uh, AWS S3 servers from your EC2 instance using IAM roles and policies and a couple of videos back we also saw how to host a website uh, in your EC2 instance. So the way we did that is we launched up an EC2 instance, we did an SSH into it, we installed HTTP daemon and then we copied index.html file into var uh, dub, 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 HTML folder and then as you can see we could access it using <coughs> the public DNS of uh, the EC2 instance so uh, we are kind of going to automate this uh, in this video tutorial uh, using uh, all the concepts that we have learned so so far and I'll sh just show you in a moment how we can do that uh, so you can go to EC2 console and click on launch instance and then select uh, the Amazon uh, Linux AMI. I'm gonna keep all these things as default. Now this is an important uh, configuration page uh, that I'm going to take some moment to explain a few things. So first thing is auto assign public IP. Make sure that it is enabled since we need to access it from an external uh, resource or uh, outside world. So we need it to have a public uh, IP and a DNS. So make sure this is enabled. Uh, next thing is the IAM role. So we'll need uh, S3 access since we are going to download our index.html file from the S3 on startup. So make sure you give uh, the IAM role that we had created in the last uh, video tutorial. Uh, rest you can keep as default. Uh, the next important thing that I wanted to show is in advanced details. So this is basically user data where you can provide uh, the startup scripts uh, which will run on the operating system reboot. Uh, so uh, whenever you spin up a new instance, it will automatically run and configure uh, all the details that you have provided here automatically. So you don't have to do anything manually. So I've already created uh, the script. I'm just gonna paste it here. So let's go over what is happening. So once uh, this operating system comes up, uh, we do a yum update. Uh, then we do uh, sttpd install, then we do a service sttpd start to start the sttp daemon. Uh, then we make sure that uh, sttpd is always on on uh, the system restart. So we use chkconfig to do that. And finally, uh, we use uh, AWS CLI to copy index.html from open source for Geeks bucket into var dub 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 html. Now this uh, would be possible because we have given an IAM role so that this EC2 instance will have full access to S3 and it will be able to copy this uh, file from that particular bucket to var html. So let's go ahead and launch this instance. I'm gonna keep these as default. Let's just give this name as my web server 3 and uh, click on configure security groups. So we are going to use an existing security group, which is uh, my security group, which has access to port 22 for SSH and port 80 for our website. So let's review and launch and click on launch. So we'll use the existing key pair that we have and we'll click on launch instance. So let's go and view our instance. So uh, till the time uh, the EC2 instance is getting launched. We'll go over a couple of things. So first thing to note is that uh, it has already been assigned a public IP and public DNS, right? And that was because we selected that setting in the configuration page so that uh, it receives a public IP. So this is point number one, which is very important. Uh, your EC2 instance needs to have a public IP in order for it to be accessible uh, to the outside world either it could be SSH or it could be accessing the website. So next thing is the IAM role. You can see the IAM role is already attached, which gives this EC2 instance full access to S3, which will let it download uh, the index.html from open source for Geeks Bucket and add it to var dub 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 HTML file and we can access it uh, using the public DNS. Uh, next thing that uh, we needed, we took care of a security group. So we made sure that uh, the EC2 instance has access to port 22 for SSH and port 80, which is a HTTP port so that our website is accessible from the outside world, right? So uh, I'm guessing uh, the EC2 instance is up, 
but status checks uh, are still initializing which means that even though the EC2 server is up uh, the steps or the commands that we gave in the initialization script uh, those are still running so we'll, we'll see that uh, in a while but I wanted to also talk to you about uh, what we just did so we added a script that will automate all the things that we did uh, so how would it actually work right so we generally in production deploy our EC2 instances behind an auto scaling group so we haven't talked about auto scaling group yet but just to give you an overview it is kind of uh, load balancing so you can specify that hey I want uh, three EC2 instances and I want uh, to basically balance my incoming network traffic among these three uh, th these three EC2 instances and you can also configure rules which says uh, hey if my load goes about 60 percent of the network traffic you go ahead and spin up a new EC2 instance and add it to my add it to my auto scaling group right and you can obviously give this uh, configuration script that we just provided in this EC2 server so that uh, the new server services uh, the new EC2 server that gets pinned up will also uh, run all the scripts and have the website up and running so I'm guessing uh, it should be up now we'll just go ahead and try to access this public DNS and there you can see that you can see hello world we did not even go ahead and SSH into this EC2 instance uh, we could directly see that our website is up and running with the user data script that we provided so thank you and have a nice day